Hi there, students. Native, denizen, or inhabitant? Okay, well, firstly, native can be both an adjective and a noun. Denizen and inhabitant, these are both both nouns. All of these are countable. Let's see, a native, the word native says that you were born and brought up in this place. It's your place of birth. It's where you come from. So, I am a native of uh, England. Yeah, I'm an English native. That's where I came from. That's where I was brought up. The word a denizen, okay, this f firstly is a much more literary word, yeah, and I think denizen gives the idea of something that you often find in that place. It doesn't have to be a native, it's somebody who spends all their time there. So, um, yeah, in, in Spain, uh, young people like to spend their Saturdays and Sundays in the park hanging out with each other. So, um, this, th this, this guy, he's one of the denizens of this park. He's somebody you will often find here. Yeah, so they're normally in that place. Yeah, so Denison says you you live there. You come, you you spend your time around there. Yeah, um, a, a barfly rep refers to a person who is den is a denizen of the local bars, and I think a denizen this is much much closer to an inhabitant. Yeah, to frequent. A denizen frequents a place. They spend a, a, a lot of time there. That's where you normally find them. It's their normal normal environment. Um, okay, uh, this, this type of forest area has certain denizens, types of animal that normally live there. Um, notice as well, native and denizen, these can refer to people or to animals, or insects as well. And then inhabitant is a person who inhabits a place or an animal that inhabits a place. So inhabitant says it lives there, you live there. So um, I don't live in the UK. So I'm an inhabitant of the city I live in, but I'm not a native of this city. And you will find me a denizen of uh, certain places, certain bars or certain restaurants. These are the places where I normally go. I think denizen and inhabitant, these are very close synonyms, but denizen is much more um, formal, much more literary. Now let's try an example. Um, a native of a bar, a denizen of a bar, or an inhabitant of a bar? Well, very clearly to me, the only one that works is the um, denizen, because you regularly go there. I think the inhabitants of a bar might be the cockroaches or the mice or the rats that live there. Yeah, so they actually live inside the building. And I guess a native of the bar, well, if somebody is a native of this bar, I was born here, I was brought up here. So my dad and his grandfather were the owners of the bar and uh, I uh, spent all of my life uh, growing up here. So I guess like that you could be a native of a certain bar, but it's very unusual. A native is n more normally talking about a larger area. It's normally talking about a country or a place. Okay, so um, he's a native Englishman, but he's a uh, denizen of uh, the of, uh, the less inhabited areas. He's a denizen of um, a sparsely habitated, uh, sparsely inhabited area. 
and then to inhabit. I inhab you inhabit a building, you inhabit a place. This this has the idea of living inside. And going back to the idea of the inhabitants of the bar, these are the cockroaches because these are the people who the animals that live all of their life inside this bar and I think that's the idea. So let's see. Native. Five in formality. Use absolutely anywhere. From Latin uh, nativus. From nat natus in, in Latin. Birth. Um, denizen also comes from um, fr uh, French. From, through French. Uh, from late Latin de intus. Yeah. Um, from within, de intus, denizen, you can hear it. Um, you ha in, let's see, you have the, the, the French word don, D-A-N-S, meaning inside. And then an inhabitant, this comes from the Latin verb inhabito, in, and habito, to dwell, to live inside a place. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Native Denizen Inhabitant